All right. Now that we've covered the uh, basic, um, you know, file menu, for, uh, window types, and whatnot, um, let's get into actually editing and creating objects. Now, uh, Blender starts out with a basic cube. Um, I'm going to go into edit mode and uh, delete this guy. All right, so we're basically stuck with a flat out nothing grid. Um, so what I'm going to do is now this little icon right here, this uh, basically tells us where we want to put the shape that we're going to add. Now I'm going up to add and mesh we're going to put in a cube just for uh, example purposes and now you know you're probably saying to yourself well that's just great you know it looks like a square um, and uh, you know keep in mind that we're on the top view um, we can go in the front view however let's stay on top and then let's pan a little bit now all of a sudden the three-dimensional aspect comes in alright now that's kinda cool alright so we've just created a cube. Um, now we can also, like I said before, place um, different objects. Let's uh, place a UV sphere. UV spheres are much more editable, and uh, you know you can create with segments and rings. You can create a much more uh, smooth object. Uh, at least from my experience, it's going to be kind of large, but wow, look at that, and that neat, kind of neat. Um, now, if I hit N, I can transform the properties of this by scooching it um, different ways. Now, I want to bring this up on the plane, so I'm going to go up like this, and this is within the transform properties menu. It's a hotkey N. I'm hitting N right now. Um, that's a, another really important uh, thing to learn, especially uh, if you are not, because because you cannot use just hotkeys to manipulate the geometry within Blender. Um, you will learn that very very easily. Uh, anyway, here I am manipulating geometry. Um, go back into object mode and uh, move these two. Anyway, let's move these two separately um, and say insert another mesh cylinder. Uh, let's go depth for, uh, put the radiuses up to 50 and of course end caps, why not? Alright, great, now we have a nice little cylinder here. All right. So, we've gone over uh, the method of creating objects within Blender, and uh, I also showed you um, how to scooch them. I mean, you, obviously, if you right-click them, you know, these two are, are uh, you know, not separate, grouped together, but this guy right here, I didn't group, and uh, I can scooch him away, but, you know, if you want a really precise uh, way of moving the each object you hit N and uh, you go into your transform properties and you can l literally like I said transform the properties of the object now this is object mode so keep in mind it, it, this is going to actually change the dimensions of the object not necessarily where it is on the plane uh, however if I hit tab and I go back into edit mode now it's going to move the object up and down based upon where it is on the plane. Um, so that that's also a, a really good example of the difference between object and edit mode. Object mode, uh, this will transform the dimensions of the object. Edit mode, it will actually move the object whereabouts on the plane because when we're dealing with edit mode there are tons and tons of tools when it comes to manipulating the geometry of uh, each one of these shapes but uh, that's how you know we can bring in simple shapes next up 
I believe will be manipulating geometry and this is fun stuff so um, that's what will be next but anyway you have the basics of how to uh, add surfaces you know you can add whatever you like I also uh, I'll include um, you can add more lamps sun obviously a spot and I'd say area would be great for say if you were creating a video game and you wanted to implement a flashlight spot or area you could um, you know implement those as uh, flashlight lighting sources so to speak anyway um, armature and lattice that, that gets more into uh, figures and movement which we're, n we're not going to get into animation right now we're dealing with just uh, objects and whatnot but you can add surfaces um, meta surfaces and uh, right now right now basic uh, surfaces would be all mesh surfaces and uh, that's because they're easily editable and um, you'll see later on how uh, neat it will be to uh, manipulate these uh, geometric shapes.